Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 17 of Red Dead Redemption 2. How's it going? We back with Arthur. He looks like he needs a shave, so let's clean up. Let's keep ourselves clean. Do we have any pomade? No, we don't. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna- What is wrong with you two? Oh my goodness. Chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. <sighs> my husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him <laughs> for dinner. Your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <gasps> Enough, both of you. <sighs> well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? <laughs> Let's go, woman. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Head on out. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Sure is. <laughs> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. So boring. Oh, <laughs> wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> Never fun, the man. even talk to a woman he ain't paid for. Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Looks like we got a new town now. So we're wanted in Valentine. Big old bail. What's up, buddy? I'm gonna pet the dog. It's the most important thing. 
I'm stepping in the show. Oh my god, we stepped in shit. Wait, am I supposed to move it up more? We're here, aren't we? Oh, we gotta. Okay, okay, we have to pull it further. And I stepped in so, shit. What's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy us some food to eat. No guns. For sure. This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Icy and I like it. And I step in shit. Where's the doggo? Oh, he's over here. No, I'm doing him over. Oh, study the dog. Hey, boy. <laughs> oh my god, what a cute little buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Here you go, buddy. Private matter. Now I really must be going. Don't mention this to Vera. He's got the clap. Morning, partner. Hello, sirs. You gotta be nice and polite, you know what I'm saying? Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. How much are my bounties? Bye now. Sixty. Oh, that was expensive. Sub lady. Do do? I do. Do you do? Is there any uh? No, nothing. My dog taking a poo poo? Looks like it. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look. She looks like she got any clothes. Is no one going to say anything? I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. All right, thanks. I like her outfit. The uh, the yellow looks nice. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah. So you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. So it won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. <laughs> I'll have you know. I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know. Nobody's taken nothing from me ever again. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill. Oh, sorry. The camp cook. Please. Oh, you can do first person. I forgot. Hey there. Hey. What uh? What you folks up to? Just heading home. 
You're in Lamorne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No! Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Go! Oh, snap. Oh my god. Well, wanted to see some action. Oh. I need to get cover. Oh. Oh shit. Bitch. Gotcha. Are you coming then? Yeah, I was eliminating the threat. They're gonna go back and tell everybody. No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful. Yep. <laughs> you those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Oh, oh. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post <laughs> anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The man of Baldwin's. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. Well, I'd like to say I missed your refined oh. conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Arthur. Someone calling me? Which one? Uh... I like... More zoomed out. Uh, who was calling me? One of these characters was calling me. Pearson's cooking up a feast it smells like. Believe me, you'll be the first to know. You busy, Arthur? Have you call me? Javier. 
I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Gotta feed the horse before we head on out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my girl. Yeah. Riding out with the homie Javier. now let's stop and go on foot from here just up the hill this way follow me actually let me put away one of my rifles and keep uh, that would be right we should be able to get a good look at the place I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises sure Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. Well, <sighs> you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? your binoculars do I yes I do well, there's a pretty big barn in the back not a bad place to start looking there must be a lot of people living here a large house Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow, and... I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees... I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. It's true, it's true. It seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Hide behind the shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Stay low, Arthur. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes. I was. You can only get all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? Oh, Edie, get all the jam! 
You shot your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! Yeah, you they do talk funny. They're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're the one yelling, my guy. Check in there first. Maybe something up top? Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. Hold on, let me loot this lady. Oh, and there's a little chest here, too. Do you only have 15 cents on her? Silver locket and some crackers. Do you want the money or not? Come on. Hold on, hold on. You was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. A lot of moolah. Tell me, uh, you 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and I'll see you in the next episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. All right, deuces. Bye-bye. Adios.